Citra, we are going to learn about the animal's body part. Before that, Miss Citra is going to share about many pictures of animals. Okay, please wait a minute. Anyone loves animal? Miss Citra loves animal. And Miss Citra guess everyone loves animal. We can try again. Yes. Is it looking good in your screen? Because it gets some trouble in my screen, but is it okay? We can move to the second picture. Okay. Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to learn about animal body part. So this one we can see there are four animals in the screen. Who can guess what animal? The first one is it's an elephant. It has a big body. And how about the whale? The whale has a big body as well. And we can see there is a rabbit and a mouse. This animal has a small body. And then how about the animal's body part? Anyone knows what part in animals that is shown in the screen? This one is tail. The second one is wings. The third one is horn. The fourth one is beak. The next one is whiskers. And the next one is claws. This one is fur. And this one is feathers. This one is fins. And the last one is scale. Can you repeat after me? The first one is tail. Anyone can repeat? Tail. Very good. The next one is wings. Very good. The next one is horn. This one is beak. And this one is whiskers. This one is claws. This one is And this one is fur, and this one is feathers, this one is fins, and this one is scales. And now we can try to do the task. First one, we can listen and we can guess what the name of this animal's body part. But first of all, we have to run 
this one three people as day and read three try to guess the number unit 27 animal body parts task two be prepared and listen. You can guess the number that you listen into this body part. One. Whiskers. One is whiskers. Which one? Anyone knows which one is whiskers? How about this one? Or this one? Or this one? Oh, this one. This one is whisker. Number one. The next one. Two, fin. Fins. Which one is fins? Which one is fins? Is it a fins? Hmm. I forgot which one is fins. Fins. We can go back. Miss, I forgot. The fins is here. Fins is one part in the fish. So the next one. The next answer is fins. We can put the number two in the fins. Two. How about the next one? Number three. Horn. Oh. Four. Horn. Horn. Four. Which one is horn? Which one is the body part of animal which called horns? Is it or is it? I forgot this. We can check to the slide before this. Which one is horn? Oh, this one. This one is horn. So we can put the number three. The answer is here. Is it? It's a horn. So we can write the number in here. Number three. The answer is this one. Horn. How about the next one? Pre-prepare. Wings. Wings. Five. You want to repeat? Five. Again? Fur. Four. Wings. Wings. Which one is wing? Five. Which one is wing? Anyone can guess? Uh, Miss Chitra guess this. This wing. This is wings. So. We can write the answer number four in here. This is wings. Number four is wings. The next one. Five. Five. Four. Four. Hmm. Six. Four. Anyone knows? Which one is called four? Is it or this one? I forgot, miss. It's okay, we can check the answer. Four. Oh, the mouse has four. This one is four. So the next answer is the mouse. Number five.
Number five is four. How about the next one? Six, feathers. Feathers. Seven. Top, feathers. Anyone? How about this one? Is it feathers? No, no, it's, it's not. How about this one? No, this is not. Yes, bulu. Which one is bulu? This one. So the next answer for number six is, we can write down in this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Number six, the next one. It's getting easy. Beak. Miss Citra, can I hear that? Can we repeat again? Seven. Beak. Hmm. Eight. Eight. Anyone knows which one is big? Big. Uh, I guess this is not a big. How about this one? Oh, we can check. Oh, this one is big. So, the next answer is big. Which one? This one? No. Oh, this one. Okay. You can write it down. Number one. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Number seven. It's a big. So there are three body parts left. We can hear again. We prepare. The next one. Eight. Claw. Close. Close. Which one? Which one is close? This one or this one or this one? Oh, we can check. If you forget, we can check. Oh, this one, something sharp in the animal's body part. Chakar, so this one. So the next answer is here. Number eight. So we have two left. This one and this one. You can hear again. Nine. Tail. Tail. It's very easy, Miss. Tail. This one is a tail. So the answer of number nine is tail. And the last one, of course, this one. What is it called? We can listen it together. Ten. Scales. Scales. Scales actually is in the fish body. So the last answer is scales. So many scales. Thank you, everyone. So the next one we learned about. In the animal's body part, also we have legs. What animals has long legs? What is this? This one has long legs. And how about this one? A pig. Pig has long legs. Is it? No, I guess a pig has a short legs. So if we go to the zoo, we can see some animals has a long legs and another one and another animal has a short legs. How about the next one? Animal has a neck. Some have long 
and some as a short. So what animals has a long neck? Is a giraffe miss? Yes, very good. And how about bear? Does bear has a long neck? No, a bear has a short neck. And the next one, animal has a tail. What animal has long tail? A tiger has a long tail and a monkey has a long tail as well. What about, how about elephant? An elephant has a short tail. Hmm, Miss Citra want to stop first because Miss Citra want to delete this number. Wait for a minute. That's all. So welcome back. The next one is fur. What animal has a fur? Fur is uh, dalam bahasa Indonesia seperti Rambut-rambut. Which animal uh, does fish has a fur? No. Fish doesn't have something like hair. So how about rabbit? Yes. And how about a monkey? Yes. Monkey has a fur. How about... This one, what is it called? The black and white. It's a zebra. Yes, if you touch a zebra, it feels like you touch a hair. All of the body, we called it fur. So how about this panda? Yes, it has a fur. The next one. Feathers, what animals? has a feathers. Feathers, we call it uh, bulu. Bulu, bulu. So, how about chicken? Yes, chicken has a feathers. How about, what is it called? Bird. Yes, it's a bird. It's a pigeon. has a feathers. How about a duck? Yes, a duck has a feathers. How about an ostrich? Has a feather as well. And anyone knows what is this? Is it, it's a penguin. Penguin, the black and white penguin has a feather as well. The next one, some of animals has a scales. What is it? It's a fish. How about this one? It's a snake. If you meet snake outside, you have to tell everyone, everybody that you saw the snake because it's dangerous. How about this one? Crocodile. Crocodile has the scales in its body. And of course, the fish has the scale as well. And the snake. The scales we call it in Bahasa Indonesia sisi. The next one is close. Close is something that is very sharp and sometimes it's dangerous if it touch our body. So what animals have a close? How about this one? Bear. Yes, bear has close it's very sharp it's uh, the bear use it for protect their body if there's someone want to hunt the bear and uh, sometimes bear use it for um, climbing in the tree 
on the tree, climbing on the tree. And how about this one? Chicken. Chicken hand bird has a clothes as well. For chicken, uh, they use clothes for grabbing on soil to find the food. And how about the tiger and lion? Yes, tiger and lion has a clothes. It's very sharp and it's dangerous. And the next one. Oh, owl. Owl has a clothes, so he can stand on the branch of the tree. Oh, how about the next one? Pose. Anyone know pose? Yes, this one is pose. It called pose. What animals have a pose? This one. Anyone can see this slide? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it show in the zoom? Okay, thank you. Oh, so this one is poles. What animal have poles? The first one is panda. Panda has a pole. So if panda walk down on the on the sand, the panda will left a pole. So we can guess is it a panda or is it a lion or is it a tiger? How about dogs and cats? Yes. Dogs and cats have a pulse as well. And the next one. Fins. What animals has fins? What is it fins means? Fins is here. This one. This one. This one. So most of them use fins to swim in the water so the animal that has fins is living in the water what are they a fish has a fins how about the whale yes they are and uh this one this one is dolphin this one is a whale how about this one this is a fish as well and can you guess another animal that has fins? Mm, how about turtle, miss? Turtle has no fins. They have legs, four legs. And the next one, horns. Anyone know what is horns? Horn is actually on the top of the head. Horned like this, tanduk, cold. Anyone realize that cow has a horn? Cow has two horns. And how about this one? What's the name of this animal? So this is a goat. Yeah, goat has a horn. There are two horns, sharp horns on the head. And how about this one? Why this animal has a horn on the nose? Is it weird? What's it called? What animal is this? Hmm, this is a rhino. Rhino has a horn on its nose. On its nose. The rhino has one horn on its nose. Anyone knows what else the uh, animal's body part? Hmm, whiskers. Can anyone guess which animal that has a whiskers? What is the whiskers? Is it? Hmm, no miss, this one is eaves. How about this one? No, this one is eyes. How about this one? This black dot everywhere. Every animal has a dot here. It's a big dot. It's a big dot. It's small. Um, it's a nose, miss. It's not a whisker. So what is the whiskers? 
here means yeah it's likes so which animal that has whiskers one is a rabbit what else hmm it might be a cat yes there are how about the koala does koala has a whiskers hmm i guess no how about a dog hmm i guess no how about the lion yes they have whiskers here what else a panda do you have a whisker panda hmm i don't think so how about you tiger yes tiger has a whiskers here tigers and lion and cat and the rabbit anyone can find another animal that has whiskers we can try next time to find another animal that has whiskers the next one is pig hmm what is pig is it um is it mouth miss in indonesia we call it paru so they use this pig to catch uh, the food and also to protect their body so the animal that has pigs is a duck. What else? The animal that has pig, paru. Hmm, how about the hummingbird? Anyone know hummingbird? Yes, hummingbird is one type of the bird, of course. And what the hummingbird use for its pigs? The hummingbird use pigs, its pigs for taking the honey from the flower very good so the flower produce honey and the hummingbird come to take the honey using its big sparrow how about duck yes duck actually found the food in the pond using its big big there are two types of the pigs. The first one is the long one, and the second one is the short, like the legs and the neck. Animal has the long legs, the long pigs, also they have a long neck. And the other one, they have the short leg, the short neck, and the short feet. So this one is a spoonbill. Why miss? It's called with the spoonbill because its beak is same with the spoon. Yes, the shape is quite same like a spoon. So the spoonbill animal use its beak to catch the food using its beak. So the spoon is directly on their pigs. How about the eagle? Yes, the eagle has the beak as well. This is very sharp. And the other one is red cross bill. This one is very short. Yeah, this one is very short. And this one is very long. And the spoon bill is the longest one. And the other one is ring red kingfisher. So this bird is actually catch the fish from the ocean to, to using its beaks. So the bird is flying and if they see the fish from above directly using its beak to take the fish for their food. How, so how many animals what that have we learned? So many means, yeah, it's every animal has their own body part. So the next, oh, it's finished. We can try again to listen and this one. We can 
try again to remember, listen, and repeat. Anyone ready? So, as day, grade three, unit 27, animal body parts, task one. Tail. Tail. The first one is tail. Which one is tail? This one is tail. The tail? The animals has a long tail and they have also the short tails. And the next one. Wings. Wings. The second one, wings. Repeat again. Wings. Very good. The third one. Horn. Horns. This one is horns. Can you repeat again? Horn. Horn. Beak. Oh, the next one is beak. whiskers. Whiskers. Claws. Claws. This whiskers. one claws. We can repeat again. Whiskers. Claws. Claws. Can you repeat? Claws. It's very sharp in here. The next one is. Anyone can spell this animal's body part? Fur. Fur. Feathers. Feathers. This one is feathers. How about the next one? Fins. Fins. And the last one, anyone? Scales. Scales. Very good. The next one, Miss, is going to show you the next task. Please wait a minute. This one, animals, body part. Hmm. Anyone knows what the name of it is if this animal? This is frog, miss. Of course, it has a green color. It is frog. So, can we guess what the name of this? Body parts of the frog. The first one is this one. This one is eye. This one is it's a face. And this one hand. This one is leg. What type of the leg of the frog? Is it long or is it short? It's short, Miss. Yes, it's short. To make it easy for frog to jump from one place to another place. The next one. Yes. The next task is write the names of the animal with this body part. And how many can you think of? This one is horn. Can anyone remember which animals that has horn? First one is Tyrannosaurus. We can call it rhino to make it cute. And the next one, which animal that has horn? Miss Chita told before that there are animals that have two horns on the head. Hmm. I guess it's a cow. Anyone can guess another one? Hmm, let me think, Miss. I guess goat has a horn 
on the top of the head. There are two and it's very sharp. The next one. What is it called? There are two body parts of animals. It's wings. Called... Yes, very good. It's wings. Which animal that has wings on its body? Anyone can guess? It's easy, miss. Bird. Bird has a wings to fly high. Yes, very good. And what another animal that has wings? How about chicken? Chicken cannot fly high, but chicken has wings as well. Yes, actually, we can eat the chicken wing in the restaurant and it's very delicious. Anyone loves chicken wing? Oh, forget about this, miss. We can find another animal that has wings. Hmm. How about duck? Does duck has a wing? Yes, duck. Bird. Yes, bird. Anyone else can give example of the animal that has wings? How about insect? Anyone can guess what insect that has wings? The first one, it's very beautiful and it has a very tiny body. It's very, it has a small body. Hmm, let me guess. Miss Chitra, think is it a dragonfly? Anyone knows dragonfly? Yes, it has wing. It's very transparent and very thin of the wing. Ah, dragonfly. In Indonesia, we call it tapung. And the next one is butterfly. Butterfly has a very beautiful wing. And the next one. So for the wings, how many can we get? The first one is bird. Many kind of birds. All birds has wings. They have two wings. And the second one is chicken. And the third one is duck. And the fourth one is dragonfly. And the next one is butterfly. So we have five animals. Anyone can add more about the animals that have wings? Let's move to another part, Miss. This one. What is it called? Anyone can answer this name of animal body part? Miss Chitra forgot what the name of this one. Is it a tummy? No, Miss. What is it? It's a fur. It's some kind of like a hair body. Which animal that has a fur on its body? Of course, mouse has a fur on its body. The first is mouse. The second one, the animals that have black and white color. Hmm. It's a zebra. Yes, zebra has a fur. The next one is how about the animals that can run fast and has the very powerful on its body, very big power. Mm, horse means, yes, horse has a fur. And the next one, anyone can guess, animal that has a fur on its body. How about cat? Yes, cat has a fur on its body. And how about dog? Yes, dog has a fur on its body as well. How about the next one? Something sharp on the legs or on the arms, on the hands. What is it called? Claws. Yes, ini cakar dalam bahasa Indonesia. Which animal that has the sharp part of the body? Lion. Yes, lion. 
How about the other one? Lion. And the second one? Tiger. Tiger. How about the next one? Bear. Bear has a very sharp on its hand. The next one. How about the cat? Yes, cat has as well. So be careful if you play with the cat because it can hurt your body because it's very sharp. So the first one is lion. The next one is tiger. The third one is cat. And the next one. How about the bird? How can bird can stand steadily on the branch of the tree? Because bird has very sharp claws on its leg. So they can't stand steadily on the branch. Um, what the names of the bird that has very sharp claws? Yes, owl. Owl stand on the night on the branch of the tree. And how about this one? This one is something very small and so many on the animal's body, all over the body. What is it called? Anyone can guess the name? Is it, is it a feather? It seems like a feather. No, miss, I guess it's like a fish body, yeah, it's like a fish body. Or another one, it's like on the snake's body. Yeah, what yeah. is it called? Oh yeah. It's a scale. So which animal that has scales on its body? The first one, of course, fish. They have scales on all over the body, but not all of the fish has scales some of them doesn't have a scale and the next one what else the animal that has the scales on its body how many can you guess first one is fish number two hmm, snake miss yes snake has scales all over the body and can we find another one can we find another animal that has scales on its body? Hmm. Anyone? That's all, Miss. I forgot, Miss. It's okay. If we forgot, we can see the one that we have learned. This one. So, are back to this one. Is the picture is clear on your screen? Oh, crocodile, yes. Crocodile has a skill. How about an alligator? Is, does alligator has a skill on its body? So we can't try to resume all the animal's body part that we have learned. So animals has a body. They has a big and a small body. And after that, the animal's body part, the first one from the head, from the legs, from the body. How about the legs? The legs. The legs that has the long and the short. How about the neck? The neck has the short and the long. And the next one, we have tail. We have tail. Repeat again after Miss Citra. Tail. And the next one is, yes, animal has wings to fly. Can you repeat after Miss Chitra? Wings. Yes, wings. Very good. And the next one, 
some animal has something on its nose and on its head. What is it called? Horn. Yes, horn. Can you repeat again? Horn. Very good. And the next one is beak. Some animals have has beak. Something sharp on its mouth. The next one is whiskers on the cheek. The next one is claws. If you heard about claws, it's it's something sharp on animal's body part. Sometimes it is on its leg or and sometimes it is on its arm. It's very sharp. You have to be careful if you meet an animal that has claws because it can hurt you. And the next one, what animal's body part? Fur. Can you repeat after Miss Chitra? Fur. Yes, it's something like hairy, hairy, and it's very itchy if you touch it. Yeah, the next one is feathers. Hulu. Some animals has a very beautiful feathers. And what else of animal's body part? Fins. Sirip. Yeah. Can you repeat after Miss Chitra? Fins. Fins. Very good. And the next one, the last one is scales. Can you repeat after Miss Chitra? Scales. Yeah. Scales is anyone? Actually, it's on a fish and a snake and it's crocodile. Sisik. Very good. So anyone now can know about the animal's body part. Some of animal has special body parts because they use its body part for protect their body, to find food, to catch the food. And sometimes they use it for uh, take, uh, find attention like the bird that has very beautiful feathers and the snakes that has a very dark scales it shows its kind of portion that snake has so be very be careful if you meet the snakes because it's very dangerous okay and thank you for today See you again next time. Have, hope everyone have a very blessing Ramadan and thank you. We, I am teacher.